Hey, future eighth graders, you ready to get uh, started in on your class selections? Well, we're ready to go so we can get you ready to in August to, to start it all out. Um, as eighth graders, you were required to take an English language arts class. In this class, it is your reading and English combined. So it is only one class period. You will be required to take math, science, social studies, and a technology course. This technology course is a high school accredited course. Um, starting your eighth grade year, you will have options or opportunities to take um, high school accredited courses. This is real important for you to do your very best in these because it does affect your grade point average, which uh, in turn affects your graduation from high school. You will have the opportunity of being in band, in athletics. Um, if you have not taken art and health, you can take it this year as an eighth grader, but you can only take it once, y'all. Sorry, we still have it only available first and second period. So um, art and health, if you have not taken that, you can take it now. If you would like to take STEM, um, if you, um, STEM 2 is going to be available for you. So you can choose that. Speech and leadership. This is um, just your learning your basics of standing in front of others, getting a given a topic, researching that and presenting it orally in front of a group of your peers. This is not a high school accredited course, but it will prepare you for when you have to take it in high school. You will have, um, if you have not taken two years of PE, of physical education, whether it's in pre-athletics, athletics, that would count as two, uh, a PE class or outdoor PE class, that would count as two. But if you have not taken a PE class in sixth and in seventh grade, then you will have to take it in eighth grade. So you can choose either athletics, regular PE, or outdoor PE. That outdoor PE is taught by Coach Slagle, and that is your archery class, fishing class, um, your um, just different camping, outdoors, hunting information, that kind of stuff. So uh, very enjoyable being out there. Um, our, if you are interested in taking Spanish, um, it is a high school class. It will affect your GPA. It, we only offer it one class period because we have a high school teacher that comes down just for one period. It is a criteria-based course. Um, so you will be placed in Spanish one, but if you know you would like to take it, you want to include that. Spanish one, uh, we will be looking at your benchmark scores in math and in write, excuse me, erase that. We will be looking at your benchmark scores in reading and in English. We will be looking at your, um, your average in both reading and English uh, for 90 and above in order to be placed in that Spanish course. The reason is, um, if you're not doing well in English, in the, your home language, you're gonna have a difficult time learning a new language. So we try our best to make sure that you have all the foundation skills that you need prior to going into that Spanish one course. Um, algebra, Algebra one, um, high school accredited course. There, um, it's always, um, a difficult course to be placed in. We will be looking at benchmark scores, uh, teacher recommendations, as well as 90 and above in classes. Uh, previously, we have done um, placement tests. We will not have that option this year, but we will be looking at um, your benchmarks your um, checkpoint scores throughout the year, your overall average in math, and then teacher recommendation. Once again, um, that will be criteria-based and you will be placed in that course. That is not something that you necessarily sign up for. So um, 
you will have reading English combined in your ELA class, math, science, social studies, your technology. So when you look at that, you will now have four choices to, uh, to take. That can be in your band, your athletics, your principles of ag. This is a high school credited course. We have it one class period a day. It's always last period because we get the high school teacher over. This is your first basic ag course. If you are interested in doing uh, FFA, your Future Farmers of America, showing animals, um, if you're interested in doing welding or small, uh, small animal veterinarian type uh, courses in high school, this is your first class that is mandated for you to take. So, if you are interested in doing small animal science, equine science, welding, any kind of food prep, this is the course that you need to take first. So, um, if you get this one done out of the way at middle school, then it opens up several other options when you get to high school. So, uh, lots of choices for uh, eighth graders this year whether you, um, but it's also an important year for you to get your feet wet in these high school credited courses. Um, you will have digital media. Digital media is taught by Coach Co. Um, it is also a high school credited course. This is a class where they are doing a lot of research, a lot of um, interview type classes. They are putting it online. They are developing videos and PowerPoints, different things like that. Um, very interesting course. Um, and it is new to us um, as of last year, but it is one that the kids have really enjoyed. Once again, high school credited course. So, digital media, high school credited, technology, high school credit, algebra, high school credit, Spanish, high school credit. So, lots of things going on. So, um, but uh, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to email me. But we are going to get through this eighth grade year in an awesome way. Looking forward to it come August. And I hope you are too. So, take care of yourselves. If you have questions, like I said, email me. You will only be able to fill out the form once. Once it's submitted, it is submitted. If you have, uh, if you wanna change something, then you will need to email me directly. So take care of yourselves. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.